Hello, my name is Lee Bobowitz, and welcome back to The Last Door. We left off, uh, father, father was doing some fun stuff here. He has a large burn covering his eyes. He's completely blind. Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness, and paleness, I can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall ever be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his voice, the sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal. Uh, I'm gonna go with your crazy, so we're gonna go with sharp sword. Yes, yes, that is it. My son, the Lord with his sharp sword transmutes us his wisdom, his power, and his punishment. And now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his holy path, the wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penitence. Uh, again, you're crazy, so, um... The wise virtue, the endless blame, the blessed penance. I'm gonna go with, uh, you're crazy, so let's go with Blessed Penance. The blessed Penance. No, 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 your soul lives embraced by the darkness. And now, my son, tell the Lord who are you, the faceless pilgrim, the gate guardian, or the lost seaman. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what happened to my friend. Um... I'm gonna go with Faceless Pilgrim. No, no, no! There is no salvation of the Lord for your soul. Now leave me alone, I have to purify my soul. Well, that worked. Let's let's try that again. Can I mumble? I know you are there. You don't hear me? Get out of my room. Oh, despite being blind, I must be careful. A creepy image of Christ crucified inexplicably has a dark cloth. The bird's eye. He's mumbling. Let's wait for him to cough. Come on, the four witnesses. Cough. Cough. The four witnesses. That's great. Just cough. You're murmuring. I want you to cough. There we go. Your God in heaven, I feel for you. Your light is in my eyes. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself in you. Your eyes are in my soul. I will burn it up for you. Dear God in heaven, I fear myself in you. Your sword is in my hands. I will burn them for you. My God in heaven, I hate myself in you. My blame is in your heart. I will burn myself for you. An old razor blade stained with blood. Oh, well that's fun. Well, what do we do with- Oh, I know what we do with the razor blade! I know what we do with the razor blade! We get the- we get the curtain! Come on, buddy! Let's go on an adventure, Mr. DeWitt! It's like, uh, DeWitt from, uh... It's like DeWitt from, uh, Bioshock Infinite. That game I hated the ending to. Which is probably a very unpopular opinion. But I did not like the ending of the infin Infinite. I wouldn't be able to cut through the sick cap. My hands won't have the strength. Well, can I combine this with this? Using the wood stump as a handle, I can use this to cut. Awesome! Let's cut! Aha! Oh, wow. Four witnesses! And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah DeVitt, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We have been looking for you. What are we, what are we? Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting. But I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly sur surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? My dear friends, it is Professor Glynn. Do you mean Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the classroom? I have believed convenient to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know. At 12 o'clock, you will find the door opened and I'll be inside the lounge. This, that is it, my dearest colleagues. 
Vindite ne squisciat. Whatever that means. Cool. What's here? I remember that in this furniture we used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it's empty. Well, that's nice. The walls are completely le are in complete disarray. I could probably punch through if I tried. Oh, a dusty mirror. I remember that this bed is where you sleep when the students were here. Oh, well that's nice. Whoa. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. Well, this isn't the direction I thought it would go at all. Where the heck am I? I just played a game that felt like Silent Hill. What is this? What is this? When going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mrs. Snake, who were having a heated argument. Well, I do so love the animals. I think. Mr. Rabbit, curious, asks them, Dearest, why are you arguing in this beautiful, cheerful, and sp why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? That is not something a prey animal says. Oh, oh, that's where I just came from. Why is it all red? What the garbage? Father Ernest, did you sacrifice something to Satan? Mr. Wolf answered politely. What we are trying to decide here is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Well, that's awfully nice. Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, but, but I do not want to be eaten. I want to live. That's, that's good for Mr. Rabbit. Oh, good. Can't even go back to Father Ernest. To which Mrs. Snake answered, smiling, That is impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later. Don't you think so? So? <laughs> no, I don't, actually. I don't like that. Mr. Vulture added, Mrs. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It is getting late, and you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? Well, who are you? Cool! You're just looking in the window like a creeper! After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it! Why not organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle. And I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. What do you say? Uh, what do I say? I say there are people looking in at me, and I don't know how I like this. There's four different people looking at me. The, the three predators agreed that it was fair, so they started the race and they quickly disappeared. Ha 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 ha. Ah, y'all suckers. Oh, this looks fun. That looks like the last note. Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators, who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. Good for them. Cool. Don't jump scare me. Mr. Rabbit was far away from there, and he finally felt safe and happy and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang. The earth shook. Frightened birds flew away, and everything went dark. <gasps> oh, hi, rabbits! Uh, uh, hi. Hi. Oh, gosh, you're all looking at me. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. This is not cool. I don't like this. Bye, Mr. Rabbit. And... Impossible love? There is something I kept to myself for a long time. And the thing is that I love you! I have always loved you! You're dead. It's a corpse. Since the first time I saw you. Since the first time I felt your frozen hands. That's weird. That's called necrophilia. That's not cool. Each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty, dead eyes. I miss your rough hair, your grayish skin, your stench. Who says this? 
but our love just cannot be. It is an impossible love. Well, of course it is! She's dead! What? Oh! Oh, no, not again! How long have I been sleeping? What was all that about? I don't know! In the nightmare, I found a place. A place in my memories. Well, that's cool! Um, what the actual heck just happened? Okay, so, so there were, there were rabbits, and, and, I don't even, okay. We're gonna pause this here, cause I, I gotta process to try to figure out what the hecky heck just happened. I, I had a nightmare about a rabbit story, and an impossible love between a man and a corpse, and I don't know, that was just weird, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're liking this series, go ahead and show that like button some love, I truly appreciate it. And, as always, I hope you have. A wonderful day. And if it's night wherever you are, I hope you have a wonderful night. See you soon. Bye!